What's up everybody? It's Patrick from WP Builder Helper and in today's video we're going to talk about which page builder I would pick today using whatever's out there and I'm going to discuss why I pick it and it may shock you, it may not shock you. It's up to you to decide but I have some reasons behind why I'd pick this page builder and why I wouldn't use certain other ones and some of the reasons if you follow this channel might be similar to what I've talked about before but overall I think I have a page builder that I would pick if I were building something today right off the cusp so let's get started Alright guys, so here we are, we're at Income School's website. That's because that's kind of what I use as my basis when I'm building these sites. Um, they really have one of the stronger uh, SEO plans out of all the other people out there who are out there. I mean, you certainly don't have to follow them, but I mean, you can follow them. There's a bunch of people out there who do the same thing, but they don't follow Income School's site. Uh, people like WP Eagle and a couple of other ones, and they've had successful affiliate websites that are around a thousand dollars a month that they're making on. Some of the people inside of this are I've seen as high as four and even ten thousand dollars a month um, after several years, depending on you know whatever. They've had some people who have had some very high months who have only been part of income school for like a short period of time but most of those people have been doing affiliate marketing for years so they've had time to kind of build up their knowledge and everything that's with it so the point of today is to talk about page builders so as you can see from this I'm not sure if you're even if you're even familiar with this or not but if you've never looked this is very Divi, because Divi uses these animations, and you can tell a page builder just by looking at the way their buttons work a lot of times. You're like, yeah, that's, I mean, it could be another page builder, but that's just something that Divi adds by default, and when people tend to not change those things, then you kind of know right off the top of the head, oh, it's got little arrows, this is this is a Divi, Divi website. Now, they typically use Divi, and I'm not sure how well that works out for them but I'm gonna tell you right now that from my perspective I would not use Divi for an affiliate website for two very specific reasons number one Divi's great for business websites they're great for membership websites like this is a membership website it's great for that because you know membership websites and business websites aren't so much concerned with speed that's the number one thing Affiliate websites are concerned with speed, and when you throw ads on top of that, it makes it harder to take and get those speeds that you need. As a matter of fact, I'm going to talk about something a little bit later on because it's going to be one of those things that's controversial, uh, like I said. But we're going to talk about that. We're going to go through some of the page builders that I would recommend, some of the page builders I would not recommend under any circumstances. So anyway this is income school website so this is definitely where you can get started if you're not familiar with this you can go to like a course dashboard and they'll they'll give you tons of courses that you can take and watch and you can go over this is the base for everything now they don't typically recommend anything but I would recommend that you stay away from certain builders there are certain builders that are gonna do you no good one of the more popular builders are probably Elementor, and Elementor is a decent builder. It's got a decent backing and everything like that. Here's my issue with Elementor. On one of my affiliate websites that I ran, I was using Zoic and Elementor. If you don't know, Zoic's like one of the first probably uh, paid ads that you can get into because it requires much lower traffic than the rest. Well after doing some research and figuring stuff out Zoic slows down your site incredibly when I say incredibly I mean incredibly you'll get page speed scores that are bad they are terrible on Zoic so a lot of people will end up waiting until they get much higher page uh, views on their site but the problem is is that in that early time when you're trying to build up motivation you want to see that cash 
And so Zoic kind of helps you get there. It allows you to do pages much earlier. Like AdSense isn't even worth it. I tried running AdSense on a lot of my sites and I thought it was absolute garbage. You literally make pennies. I think I still have money in AdSense because of how bad it is. The only reason why I would keep it is for YouTube, which I also know that that makes pennies too. It probably makes more than pennies, maybe dollars for some videos. But uh, AdSense is garbage for ads. It's just, it's terrible. I wouldn't recommend even putting it on there. I'd recommend you doing your own affiliate thing or whatever, but don't use AdSense. Zoic's the first one that you get into that you're going to really start making some decent money. And by decent money, I mean if you were getting somewhere around, you know, like say 2,000 clicks a month, you could easily be making 20 or $30 a month. That's not much, but that's not a lot of clicks either. Like, I mean page views, I should say, not clicks. Uh, if you're making 2,000 page views a month, you could easily be making 20 or 30 bucks on uh, Zoic from that. And it all depends on, obviously, your niche that you go into, and it depends on a lot of different things. But I started out with Elementor, and I thought Elementor was great. Well, guess what? When I turned on Azoic, Azoic flatlined with Elementor. Like, it did horrible to the point where I eventually converted the site into a Bloxy site. And then um, I think I used Gutenberg on top of it, which did improve the speed. I get on page speed score for that website about a 90 and I get about a 75 on mobile which is pretty good and that's that's got caching and all that. that it's got a Zoic's caching because Zoic doesn't like to play with other types of uh, uh, caching plugins but I could not get that score with Elementor. It kept dragging me down. I'd hate to see what it would do to Divi. I'm sure Divi would be even worse but man, Elementor, I know that they're going to be doing some optimizations and stuff like that. But for me, it's a no. For businesses and everything, yeah, you're good. If you're making, like a, like I said, a, like a membership website, I think almost any page builder is capable. I think some of them are a little bit more capable than others. But for me, Elementor is a no. So I would not use Elementor. Another thing that's been coming out is people have been talking about Cadence. If you haven't heard of Cadence... Um, Adam from WP Crafter, very popular channel, way more popular than me, uh, has been talking about it for a while because of the speed. And it is pretty fast. It's, it's pretty good. I've done some speed testing, kind of, you know, it, it, the speed isn't the top. It's, it's not number one. I don't like when people say, oh, we've got number one, one, number one theme and speed or whatever, because that number changes dramatically as time goes on. So for me, it's not number one, but it is fast. It's good, it's not bad. And when you take and you start looking at what they give you, um, when you get access to the Cadence Pro and the Cadence Blocks, that's all built with standard Gutenberg and everything like that. So that can improve your speed. So if you're gonna go this route, I, I don't think that that's a bad idea. I think it does help to, uh, you know, the Gutenberg blocks, a lot of people don't like them, but then I've heard other people, I've been seeing them on Adam's forums and everybody else's forums saying, hey, I use Elementor and I just switched over to Gutenberg and I can kind of do everything. No, you can't. No, no. I have these blocks on some of my affiliate websites and you cannot do everything with them. There's a lot you can do with them. They're very powerful. They're very good. But they're nowhere near Elementor's level, so you can't even compare that. I hate when people compare Gutenberg blocks. Now, are they going to get there? I certainly think that they're going to get there. As a matter of fact, I think that the whole Cadence Pro thing where you've got headers and footers and everything, I think that that's going to be uh, obsolete at some point. I think most websites, most themes are going to be obsolete at some point from the from the perspective that right now they're kind of competing with one another giving you themes and everything like that like i think cadence even has like pop pop-ups or the equivalent of pop-ups that elementor uses i know a lot of themes don't have that that's a big deal because it just it lets you eliminate things much quicker you can get rid of some of these other page builders that maybe are just wasting space and wasting time and doing things like that so for me, Cadence is definitely a thumbs up if you're going to use it for an affiliate website. It's much, much faster because it's Gutenberg, and Gutenberg's a much simplified page builder. Um, so for me, it's definitely a thumbs up. I, I like it. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I, I think it's pretty good. Um, then we kind of move on to Oxygen. 
oxygen's kind of like a weird, it's, it's a wishy-washy thing for me. So, I like oxygen. I like it for websites. I like it for, you know, business websites. I like it for marketing websites. I like it for, you know, just standard websites. Oxygen's got a lot it does right, and it's got a lot that it could do um, with an affiliate website. As a matter of fact, if you had the time to go through it, Oxygen can give you very, very fast speeds. Now, I have not played with Oxygen and Azoic or any of those other, you know, page builder, uh, not page builders, but ad networks to see what kind of impact Oxygen would have on them compared to, say, something like Elementor, where I knew I couldn't get anything above like a, a 70 or 80 with um, Google Page Speeds Insights. But Oxygen's Oxygen's good. My issue with it is the customization of it takes a lot of time. There's not a lot of stuff in place that uh, that allows you to customize. In other words, their template library is, is somewhat limited. And as a matter of fact, if you go through it, you'll see that there's very, very few things with blogs. That's not to say that they don't have some. They do. They have some things that do work with blogs. But a majority of them are not things that work with blogs. So, you know, it, it's so-so. It's it, it's very fast. I like it. I can't not recommend it because I don't think it's as bad as Elementor nor Divi in terms of speed. I know because I've built websites with it and it's done very, very well. So I know if you built a website using this, you would be okay. You wouldn't be bad off if you did it. It's just going to take you more time than some of the other websites that are out there. That's my biggest complaint with it. So then we come to my next builder, and you know, this is the next builder that. So this is Brizzy, and I should have went to the just the main page. Brizzy's another website builder that I really like. I've been jumping on the bandwagon for Brizzy probably a little bit too much lately because I know that a lot of people have been saying, you know, Brizzy's coming and Brizzy's doing all this great things, and it's, it is. Brizzy has come, wow, such a far way from where they were just a year ago. I mean, a year ago, they were not anything. And now they're really competing. They are really, really pushing it to try and push those boundaries and push things out and you know do that my only issue with brizzy is you have to go the wp eagle route okay if you're going to use brizzy and i don't have any issues with it it's it's a nice affiliate uh page builder to me it's a nice affiliate page builder but the wp eagle route is instead of combining a page builder with gutenberg Use the page builder fully for everything on your website. So by that, I mean you literally don't break out of Brizzy for anything. You use it for everything. If you're willing to take and dump everything into Brizzy, I like Brizzy for that. I think that it has a strong, strong footing when it comes to that because there's so many resources in it that you could use. You know, it's not one of these page builders where you have to mix with Gutenberg. It can play with Gutenberg, but to tell you the truth, it works fine on its own. And if you look at some of WP Eagle's stuff, he does a lot of that. He will use, like, Elementor, and he'll build his posts using Elementor and everything like that. And while most people will say, no, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? Don't, don't build posts using Elementor. Use Gutenberg over here and then use, you know, Brizzy or Elementor or whatever over here. He just kind of goes full in. He uses Elementor for everything, and he's got a website right now that's easily over $1,000 a month, and it didn't take him that long. So I think that that goes to show you, and if he can do that with you know, using Elementor, I know you can do it with Brizzy. So Brizzy's one of those ones where I've never done it yet. I've never made an affiliate website to, to date. That has been all of one page builder. Maybe I should. Maybe that should be another video. Is building a affiliate website that is just a page builder. But this this brings me to kind of my my topic. So which page builder do you pick? You know, where do we go? If I'm building a page builder today, which is what I would be doing. I can't recommend Oxygen uh, just just because it's it's it takes too much time. It's great, the speeds are great, but.
but it's too time intensive to take and build. There's a lot of stuff that you can do, and the, the oxygen people are going to come out in, in waves and say that you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. And I can't recommend Elementor because of the speed issue. Their speeds are terrible. Divi's not on here because it's terrible in terms of speeds. I can't recommend it for those two, those type of sites. Brizzy's not bad. Brizzy, you need to take and you need to optimize it. So for me, it would be the closest to what I would pick. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, no matter what, I would build my website with Gutenberg. I probably would. I hate that. I hate that I would even recommend that. But it's kind of the truth. Gutenberg right now is slaughtering everything. The speeds compared to all all of these four that are up on the screen, it's just it's not even it's not even a thing. The speeds are so much better using Gutenberg than any other thing. The problem is you have to deal with the limitations that come with Gutenberg. Now, Cadence kind of solves this, and there's other uh, there's other Gutenberg plugins. There's like Atomic Blocks. There's uh, yeah, there's there's Quibbly that's out there, which which yeah, Quibbly's another one that's got some full Gutenberg blocks. I actually do have a license to this. They've got full Gutenberg layout and stuff like that. I'm still not sure I like them all that much either, but it, you know they're all right. They give you some more extra stuff you can have video pop-ups and tabs and accordions and all this so you don't have to have just a regular website so for me if you're looking at speed i mean even these gutenberg blocks don't add a whole lot to a page when you're taking and you're breaking them down so if you're going full page builder and you want full functionality i recommend brizzy if you're going for speed and that is your whole entire goal, I recommend something like Cadence WP, similar to what Adam says, or like a Quibbly, or I think that there's a couple of other blocks out there. Stackable has some stuff, and I'll include them all down below. If all in, Everything that I've talked about in this video, I'll include down below. So if you want to go see that, including those channels, I'll include them down below too, because I think that they're really good channels. I like uh, Adam from WP Crafter, and I like WP Eagle. They're two of my favorite people to watch. Whenever I'm curious about anything that involves, you know, WordPress or Gutenberg or anything like that. They're fun people to watch. But for me, I, I really like Brizzy as a page builder. I like Gutenberg as speed. So that's just my choice. Some people are going to get angry with that. They're going to say, no, that's not right. It's just what I choose. What do you choose? Mention it down below. Take and talk about, you know, what page builder you think is really going to start making a bigger splash when it comes to affiliate stuff. Do you think it's Elementor? Do you think it's Oxygen? Do you think it's Beaver Builder? Do you think it's Thrive? What page builder is doing it right now? You tell me and we can kind of talk about it down below. All right. Hope you guys have liked this video. Do all those things that everybody does. Like, subscribe, and everything down below. And like I said, I'll have all the links down below. Some of them will be affiliate links. And I hope to see you guys next time.